Hey, how's it going? It's good. How about you? <sighs> you know, um, I I uh, did what you told me to do to that computer. Really? Yeah. Last night you were telling me you'd never put FreeBSD on any of your um, computers. You put 8.2 on for me? Um, 8.1. Oh. <laughs> you know, BSD the, is you know, BSD, man. No, no, no. You know the new Windows, right? The new, the new what's it? The Windows, you know, the real operating system. The Devilware? This is an Exo Special, episode 22, build 2013, on Thursday, June 27th, 2013. And now, the not Devilware OS. This episode is hosted by Ryan Rampersad with Matthew Petchel. Wait a minute, no, BSP no. is the one with the devils. Uh, oh, I don't know, I don't know. That's what, so what is, good. What is this? This looks pretty gritty to me. Gritty? It looks metro y. Huh, well, imagine that. It, it's... These live tiles are just everywhere, man. It's crazy. Oh. Dude, your avatar's a pony? No, no, it's not. Um, see, I had a little problem with my Microsoft account, and uh, I think it was hacked. Those Chinese! And, and so you know what they did, of course. They ponied me. You've been bronified. That's what happens to when you bronies attack. Uh, I don't know about that, but okay, I suppose. Well, can't say this is a... Uh... Anything like what I was expecting when you said you put 8.2 on, and by 8.2 you mean 8.1. It's, it's not blue. It's pretty, pretty black. You know, so, but, uh, so blue was the code name of uh, 8.1, and, you know, that was a code name that we had known about for a long time, but it, in reality it, it didn't really matter. Yeah. So um, we're running the preview release of Windows 8.1. Uh, evaluation copy build 9,431. Well, build, uh, you know, the conference was yesterday, actually. Um, it's, you know, a pretty inf- interesting conference. Um, yeah, I heard about it. Um, it was all over Twitter. Yeah, it really was all over Twitter. I kind of contributed to that. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It, it wasn't as much as, um, that, um, WWDC E3 and WWDC. Well, and, so the reason is, so when I got to the feed, I got a few minutes late, um, because the streams weren't working, actually. Um, so by the time I got in, 11 minutes had already elapsed. But so I everybody only, already left? No, I had only missed 11 minutes of Steve Ballmer walking and prancing around the stage as if he was riding a horse. Um, I mean, I didn't, That's pretty impressive. I didn't see it, so I don't know if it's true. I mean, it's just what I assumed. Hey, Steve Ballmer. Yeah, after the show, I'll show you this hilarious video of King John Moon riding a horse backwards. But okay then. Well, um, so I've watched part of it. Um, Steve Ballmer is kind of weird. Um, the keynote itself is is very, um, you know, you know, at the Google keynote, you saw some of it, right? Yes, I did. Or at least the pictures of people at on the stage. So they had, you know, a big projector screen right behind them, and they had people standing in front of it, right? Yeah. Just like the Apple keynote, big projector, guy on stage talking about the product, and then walking over to the computer to demo the product or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Well, at 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 Bill, they had the demo stations too, but there was no projector where they were standing instead they had the projector off to the left and it was really weird Mm. um and 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 from the camera view you couldn't see what was on the projector screen because it was just really dark it was really it was just a a very different kind of um experience and when you hear balmer talk well you can almost assume that he talks to business people more often than not and not consumers and definitely not reporters who want to hear a good story well they have a pr department for that wait who yeah, don't don't they have people promoting Windows 8.1 right now walking the streets saying, "Hey, go try this"? No, I'm pretty sure that they don't. What is, is it? It has to be the when you go to Microsoft's website, it has to be the first thing you see. Like, "Hey, download 8.1 here." Like, it's um, easy to find the download, right? Nope. I took a good ten minutes trying to find it again because I was on the site. I didn't. I don't bookmark things, unlike Sam. I was on the site. I closed it because I because the ISOs weren't up yet. Go back a day later. I don't know where it is. I had to figure it out all over again. The Verge, you think, would have had a direct link? Nope, nope, no direct link. So even on their their site, they won't. They're not advertising this. No, not not heavily at all. No. Well, I'm sure after you download, it's a piece of cake to make a DVD or thumb drive of it, right? Um, making the uh, flash drive bootable is pretty straightforward. You download a little uh, installer app thing. Mm-hmm. That's not a big deal. And I'm sure they also have tools right in, so you can check the MD5 cache sum to see if you actually got the whole file. Well. Speaking of, of, of that, um, so I downloaded the copy of 8.1 I put on the computer that you use here frequently. Okay. Um, because I wanted to let you suffer first, because you, you hate all things. Um, and so I thought if, if it could, if you could 
just use it a little bit, you you might be able to tell me what the breaking points were. Um, and so I, you know, I downloaded an Opera, and you know, I assumed that it was a good download because Opera didn't crash and it didn't complain and you know mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, burn it, to, burn it to called to a flash drive that I've used in the past that worked. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we tried to install it, uh, you know, during the party, cause that was on here today. And, uh, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Huh. So. Do, do you know how it didn't work? Various reasons, all ending in that flash drive sucked. It wasn't Windows full. It wasn't. No. Huh. Um, so. I, I saw a tweet earlier or something about, like, um, the checksums were wrong. Right. Well, so I, I checked the checksums, cause that, that is one of the things you do after you find out that your flash drive doesn't work. Uh huh. Uh, and, and indeed the flash drive, um, was burnt with an invalid file. Yeah. Yeah. Binder broke. Binder's broken. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's true. Yes. And so the checksum was so wrong that it still worked anyway after switching to a different flash drive. So it mm-hmm. turns out to not matter. Um, but so I, I used it a little bit for like 25 minutes while I was just installing drivers and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Um, not too much has changed. And so, you know, you, you saw part of the Apple Keynote, right? Oh, it's almost all of it. Right. At least part of it. So the Apple Keynote, they talked about OS X Mavericks. And I hate to make a Windows show about Macs, but, you know, of course we get to compare it to that because that's the only desktop operating system that you pay for these days. Um, indirectly, um, hmm. you know, hardware wise. Um, but they spent a good 25 to 30 minutes on OS 10 and the improvements and the changes and things they were adding. So there were visual things like they added some new apps, updated apps. They added, um, you know, uh, new tabs to finder. They added new set things to various places in the operating system. They also talked about things that were under the hood, like new battery saving techniques and so on. And Microsoft didn't do any of that. So if there are any battery saving techniques in Microsoft's new 8.1, uh, Windows deal here. We don't know about it. Um, the only thing that we do know is that all the apps have been updated. The only thing we do know is that there's now variable window snapping. So if you, so for some horrible reason, you decided to use Windows uh, as a metro for the, for the most part, uh, you could snap Windows mm-hmm. up to four per screen. Why you'd want to do that? I don't know, but you could. Um, uh, I'm using Metro right now because I'm, uh, I'm just trying to build up my rage counter right now. And so I, I promptly started by deleting everything. Um, everything? It's, it's nice. Well, before, I've used 8. Point, well, I used 8 before, and I have to uncheck, th- I have to just start deleting things one at a time. Mm-hmm. This, I, I erased almost everything that was on there by default, which is sort of clicking at random and then hitting unpin everything. Like, it, it's cool. You can do multiple things at once now. That sounds really nice. Yeah. And um, you can also, ha- so it, by default has three troughs or um, rows. So Columns? Maybe? Columns. I don't know. Um, and you can actually label them now. You, you can't label that. So I can label work stuff, business stuff, um, keep out stuff. I, I would, I would do that. Label something to keep out. Um, and it's kind of cool. Um, can't say I like it yet because I can't say I like Windows on air. It might be held against me in the future. It wouldn't actually. Uh, oh. nobody listens to this. I don't. Um, well, I, I do have some things to ask you since you've been using that for a while, um, more than I have now. Oh, yeah. It's been a whole hmm, six, seven minutes. 54 minutes, if you ask me, but I think my counter's in beats. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, one of the things I've always thought was really strange about Microsoft's Windows 8 plan was that, you know, people really like wallpaper, right? Like, even on phones, people set custom wallpapers, like pictures of their kids, pictures of the dogs, pictures of the cats, yeah. you know, stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they have a way to set your, your lock screen wallpaper, but there's no way to set the wallpaper on the start screen. It's really weird. Yeah, and, and so if you're switching tabs and stuff, it's like, like let's say you had a white background and you have a black theme. Like, this, it's it's too flashy. But, and it's very odd. Mm-hmm. Um, well, did they fix this issue in Windows 8.1? They did. So one thing that I hate is having, like, when things change, I don't like everything to change. So I have the background... Is um, this logo of the celestial beings like it's like this uh, angel wings on a cross thing? Mm-hmm. Um, and I also set the exact same thing to the lock screen, so it just brings up the other things. So, what one of the new features in eight point one is that the desktop background carries over seamlessly if you select it to the start screen, and it's a beautiful and it should be default transition because it's not a transition. 
Um, it, it's a very jarring thing to go from blue ocean waves to goo. And it is. Um, this is a very elegant way to do it. The tiles just swoop right in and it looks nice. It almost seems correct and natural. And it really is a wonder why it isn't default and why Microsoft didn't do it in the first place. Yeah. But the lock screen is different than the Metro screen. And so for the lock screen, I set a transparent PNG to a <laughs> pony? Huh, I got hacked. You got hacked again by the Chinese. You know, see, this count, oh, I'll tell you about that after. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it seems that the lock screen supports transparency now. That is great. I love transparency on my lock screen, uh, among you, other things. You can see the stuff behind it. It's very secure. Because it actually is just a login window. You know, that'd be really funny, like, to put some, like, you know, secret-looking documents behind another it, thing. That'd be great. That'd be really funny, actually. Yeah. Um, it's, it's pretty fluid. It's pretty nice. Or, you know, you could get a transparent PNG that says NSA, like, cut out. Right in front of the login button. Yeah, so do you, do you, are you you familiar with uh, Ingress? Yes. And so, you know, on the Ingress site, they have all the fake, like, oh, the enlightened crap. Mm-hmm. Like, all, all it, it looks real, but if you stop and actually look at it, it's crap. Yeah, I, I do know. it looks really great from a ways away. Yeah. I would do something like that. Mm-hmm. But, um, wow, this lock screen is pretty cool. So, have you noticed any other features? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I don't have the speakers hooked up yet, so we can't hear it, but I'm getting a call. Really? Uh, some some crazy guys trying to Skype me. Uh, wait, I'm on the lock screen. How is he calling me? Do they do they add support with the lock screen? They Skype? did. Wow. Can't believe I'm getting a spam call on that account that's just hacked. I mean, it makes sense. So yeah. I don't, I don't use it. Well, so one of the things they added, um, and they demoed this during the keynote, actually, um, at Build, that... The lady was on stage, and so she she walks up to her computer. She she just taps the screen because it's one of those all-in-one tappable touch PCs, you know, mm-hmm. uh, like one of those HP models. And yep. so she taps the screen, lock screen comes up, and then she starts getting a Skype call, which is you know standard fare. Um, but instead of having to log in first, she just swipes in the swipe call from the side where it's little notification popped in, and then she just hits yes, take call, uh, and then it just starts. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, and then, so she ends the call a few minutes later after she's done talking with her friend, and um, then she she proceeds to log in. Uh, she forgot her password. Really? Yeah. Or I don't know if she forgot it, but she typed it in wrong the first time. Okay. Um. Well, that shows that it wasn't fake. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you remember watching the WBC things like Siri, do this, mm-hmm. and then he puts aside like that would be the intended result without actually relying on voice Siri. control. Yeah. Well. You know, so we've been talking about all this hacking, right? Yeah, it seems to be quite popular these days. So, you know how I use Gmail in my real life? Everyone does. Yeah, so in order to have a Microsoft account, you need to link up an email address. Now, you don't have to have a live account, but you should if you want to use... Let me rephrase. You don't have to have a live email address. You know, you don't have to be like ryan at live.com. You could do ryan.rampersat at gmail.com as a live account. That just becomes your login, and that's fine. Wow. But cool. the problem is, I don't ever use my live account ever. Do you know why? Because hmm. it, it sucks? Se- no, because it's secured by a 15-character password in LastPass. What is your first initial reaction to that statement? I think that's what everybody does these days. What? LastPass lock. No, 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 15 characters. You should be outraged. Well, well I per- my personal preference is everything of mine is 32 characters. Exactly. And so you should be outraged that it's so insecure. Well, that's whatever you chose. Yes, well, it turns out I can't make it more than 16 characters. They put a limit on it? Yes, it is limited to 16 characters. That would have been okay. Ten years ago? I was going to say 15. You're being generous. I was. Microsoft Um, is only 10 years behind to this. I don't know. I mean, that's I find that unacceptable practice. I mean, yeah, you might be right. Um... I'm trying to live my life most securely as possible. Well, so that it gets worse. So not only is it limited to 16 characters, it's the same password that I have to log in on that machine now every time. So, as I mentioned, the username for that account is ryan.rampersat at gmail.com, and the password is 11144, which is the standard universal password. That's it for every computer in the house. Mm-hmm. But now you know my password. Not only do I know it, everyone in China does too. Well, but they already You're, knew it. Well... Yeah. I mean, not a big deal. I mean, like, whenever I, I, I get comfort knowing it will take somebody 27 years to, 
figure out this, because I have um, special characters, upper and lower case, all 32 characters, and I go back and change them about every three months, so technically nobody's ever going to get in. Right, not even you. Except for when they do. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. It, well, I use uh, the grid thing, too. Oh, um, gosh, that's a travesty. But that's why the Chinese type target them so much, because it's 16 characters. That's Right, exactly. That's they're asking so low. for it. Yeah, I know. None of my Gmail passwords are that short. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it's a very strange thing, but so... Let me let me ask you. You're familiar with using Max a little bit, right? Um, yes. I mean, not a lot, but a little bit. I've, I've used them. So you've you've heard Armor of the Tiger. you've you've heard of this thing called the App Store? Yes. So you know how you have that Apple ID and you have a password. So you mm-hmm. have like a username like Matt dot petula at gmail dot com, and then you enter a password mm-hmm. to get into your App Store. So like, if you want to yeah, buy so I have an a app, a local or... account to get into my Mac, and then I have a global account to get into my App Store. Right. So they're separate. Yeah, it makes sense. E.g., not the same, right? You got that so far? Yeah. So, what's cool about the Mac in particular, or probably the iPad if you set it up this way, um, is that if you have a password on your user account and you forget it, and you know your Apple ID account, you can just recover it through that. No big deal. But Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, decided to not do this for Windows 8 or 8.1, and this is still a problem in 8.1, where you cannot log in with a separate and much easier password because you don't need your local stuff to be so secure. You need your online stuff to be much more secure. I suppose it's true. I mean, I don't need to enter my 32 password every time I come into the room. I should be able just to enter my, you know, 10-digit password that I just remember. And what you really should be doing is just put, taking your YubiKey with you and just sticking it in. And You uh, know, if my phone, my phone should have Bluetooth support, and it does, but that computer doesn't. But if it did, it should just recognize that my phone's nearby and just log me in. Yeah. You know, that's actually a really cool idea. I should get in and do that. Oh, well, go ahead and patent it right now. I'm sure that's patented already. I mean, I should just implement Try it. Try it again. Why? Well, you can patent anything. Wait, now, should I patent the life-saving cure for red carca disease? I think you should do that, but don't don't give away everything in your patent. Even if you have the full cure, just patent the half cure. Okay, and okay. then seven years later, do it again. The rest of it. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay, yeah. So, um, let's talk about the desktop. Yeah. Um. Wait a minute. So I'm so used to seven because I've used eight a few times, but. When I got to the, I switched to the desktop because I was just messing with the Metro. There's a start button. Yeah, there's a start button. What is the it, start it button? Do? You, if I click it, it brings me right back to Metro. Yeah, that's crazy. That's weird. Isn't that um, weird? Oh, if I right click it, it looks like I have everything: task manager, control panel. Um, yeah, just like event now. Viewer. Yeah. Power options. But it's much clearer that it does something. Like there's yeah. a button there. So in the old days. And it's kind of funny to say the last eight months as the old days, uh, there was no way to bring up the start screen with a UI element on the desktop. And that's very odd, isn't it? I was happy with it. But I guess everybody, like, people won't even, people well, like to minimize their know, things by but, going up and clicking I know, it. but even just think of Microsoft's perspective. If you didn't have the knowledge that the Windows key brought that up, how would you connect that? Like, in Microsoft's imagination of this whole product it would make sense to have a ui method of getting there and this this fulfills that keyboard shortcuts are faster for always i understand but, I guess some people don't but a lot of people don't do that um well it sucks to be them they yeah, should be yeah. using metro they're not actually nobody uses metro which is the point um has anything else changed? I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's not, not, not too much else. Desktop doesn't seem to have changed much. Um, a few of the uh, album arts are different. That's okay. Um, yeah. Um, dude, dude, when you install this, your naming conventions are terrible. What do I do now? You named it this PC. Um, no. What's this computer's name? Uh, I'm pretty, we're pretty sure it was called Neon. We put an X at the end, Neon X, because it's going to be reinstalled later this month. I click on this tab and it says this PC. My computer says my computer. Actually, no, it just says computer. Oh, huh, well, that's weird. That must be new. Uh huh. Huh. There's no computer. Weird. It's this PC. It's this PC. Maybe that makes sense in a way. Um, Microsoft was trying to break down the barriers between sharing media locally and externally. So, like, if you had an Xbox One, for example. Well, I guess because right below it is, right right above its home group, right below it is... Network. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that makes sense to distinguish computer as this PC. Yeah, maybe that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So they have the four options. They have the favorite, SkyDrive, home group, uh, this PC, plus a fifth SkyDrive. Yeah, it's actually before my documents, your local documents. It's interesting. They're pushing it, it seems. 
Um, you have nothing in your sky drive. Makes sense. The mm-hmm. hackers deleted it all. Figures. They had to repopulate it. Man, I had a lot of good pictures there. Well, in a few days, you're probably going to have some incriminating evidence too. And they say we'll get there first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, at, at the build conference, and I, you know, I I didn't stay for all of it because I had to go. But one of the things that they talked about was um the the idea of a refined blend. Um, a Bulmer was talking about this. He called 8.1 a refined blend of what 8 was. Do you think the minor changes here, you know, merit that kind of praise? Yes. Good. I'm glad we got there. Yeah. Um, I actually, I don't hate it as much. You know, um, you know I, I won't use this as my designated operating system, but, uh, I don't have much to complain about. Well, I mean, like, so bring up all your apps right now. Uh, like the uh, like you're in the Metro screen right now. Hold on, um, hold on. This is all apps. Yeah. So how did you bring that up? Oh well, oh, crap. So I have to right click and go to all apps. Um, there's some secret way with the mouse, but I don't know what it is. Well, I'll tell you the secret way how to do it in eight point one. You, you click on the, the down metro, arrow? or just down or up. Huh. wow. It's it's quite nice. And then you just have a list of everything. Are you telling me that it's intuitive? It pretty much is. So oh. it shows you all apps by publisher. So yeah. I have one thing from Google right now. So there's a Google Chrome, Chrome one. Yep. And then there's everything signed by the Windows accessories things mm-hmm. from the Windows team. So what a good test would be to is um, install something that has an uninstaller and see if search would bring the in- uninstaller first. Uh, that, I would have to do that off screen because yeah. that takes some time I know, to prepare. I know. Yeah. Um, because that was always one of my problems. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, it is really called this PC. That's fine. I'm. It's not a. It's not a big deal. It doesn't really matter what they call it. Well, it's what it's been like that way since like three point zero and up. Well, it's been called my computer until Vista, but it it's been called um, computer, I believe, until since seven. But it was never this PC. No, it was. I don't believe it's ever been this PC. Although that could just be a remnant of you know the the beta that we're using. Oh yes, because this is. Uh, uh, it's not official. Fish-ish. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it 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 could change. Um, so build ends tomorrow, actually, uh, like the conference does, so, you know, all the little individual sessions and stuff. Um, but, you know, they didn't say anything about Windows Phone, which is kind of weird. I did notice how the big convention was just for Windows. 8.1 and a few, a few apps. Yeah, so, so apps were highlighted. Um, you know, it came, they came out with a bunch of new APIs. They're com- obviously coming out with Visual Studio 2013, mm-hmm. which, of course, brings those new APIs um, they didn't really talk too much about RT, which is also very odd. RT does get a beta, um, so if you had an RT tablet, you could run it on it if you, for some reason, wanted to. Um, nothing has changed that you wouldn't expect to be. So all the things that we mentioned here are also there, but there's nothing different. Um, you know, it, it's a very weird thing. So I, I, it, it just feels unfulfilling that they had this big conference, but nothing like, gosh, Microsoft did something right for a change. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. I, I haven't. I didn't see the build keynote, but I just looking at all the stuff. Eight point one is everything people it, they said it would be. Right. Exactly. I mean, it's not unfulfilling. It's just there wasn't anything to fulfill that much. No, no, no. So you know, it, it's it's more like um, you know, you go you go to Wendy's, you get all all you get all of your meal except one pack of fries. You know, you, you order two meals for two people, but you, they keep one of the fries back. Like, they just forgot. And, mm. you know, it, it's everything that you were promised except that one little thing. Which is fine, I guess. Yeah, because you can just share the fries, right? But, yeah, you know, but, it's not the same. But because you paid for the fry, you're going to ha- ha- harbor this bitterness for a few more months. Well, and not only that, you're also going to hand the guy a 20, and you're supposed to get $10 in change, and he'll just keep the 20. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, I, I, the whole Windows 8 thing seems to be going in a direction that's good, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know. So well, we'll, we'll probably see more from Windows Phone later this year um, at another event, a, a, a smaller, more focused event. And, you know, uh, speaking of which, they didn't mention any Surface tablets, which is really weird. But, uh, well, there's still one more day. One last thing. Yeah, like- but there's no keynote scheduled, so they can't do it tomorrow. Everybody's busy. Yeah. In their, you know, little sessions. Um, you know, I, I mean, they could, they could just, you know, not have an event. That'd be okay. And just say, here they are. You 
go buy a Surface 2 online or whatever. You know, the price drops $100, $200, and they just have Haswell components instead or whatever this generation of ARM, they call it, you know, A22 or whatever. Um, you know, they could do that, and that'd be okay. Um, but it's weird to have build go through without having a Surface, although last year they didn't do that either, so maybe that makes sense. Maybe they don't want to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of weird things that they're um, touting now. Yeah. Well, we'll only find out in a few months. Anyways. I mean, so if, where can we go? I mean, if they're going to come out with anything, it'll be before Christmas. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be before November, too. Right. Because uh, that's already getting time. Black Friday, whenever that is. I don't know. Yeah. Friday before Thanksgiving now. Right. Yes, you're right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, well, you can find me at my Microsoft account, ryan.rampersed at gmail.com slash lolladmin404 and on Twitter, RyanMR. Uh, you can also find uh, me on the Google Plus, which is where I blog now because my blog is powered by WordPress, which is a deprecated product. And you can just shoot me an email at matthewpetrol.com. Yeah, uh, and if you would like to comment on Matt's blog, he will promptly delete your spam. Yeah, I um, have a blog. I've never really posted anything on it. One time. And um, in the last two months, since I reinstalled WordPress on my thing, hoping that it would be better, um, I have exactly 463 mm. pieces of spam, and I have an email for each piece of spam in my inbox. Where can we find you on your email? What is your email these I, days? MatthewPetrol.com. Not helpful. It, S- it's, not, no, it's the wrong format. Anything. Like I know, but you got, you got to say something. You put your dream man at MatthewPetrol dot com, and I will get it. Well, good. I'm I'm glad. Wow, it's true. I will get it. I have a catch all. That is impressive. It's I'll make it business cards to pick up a chick's with. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, dude, that would work. I think we'll uh, announce the success of that project on our next special. I'm gonna get married. Okay, have a good one. So he'll bring it back someday. That's probably fine. No, it's not. Why not? I was looking forward to hitting him with a bat, but now I can't because I'm not angry at him. I like to be angry at people. Hold on, I like watch. to say, like, I can hit you with a baseball bat or I'm going to drive my car into you. But now I have no reason to. And plus, I don't know.